So here we're going to go and to a generic inquiry and create a pivot table for it. But before we do that, we're going to add an extra column that we need in the pivot table. First off, what we want to do is we want to take a look at a report that uh, or an inquiry I really like, which is the sales profitability analysis. So <clears throat> we, of course, have margin and net sale and stuff. So we can come in here to our sales profitability analysis and sort by descending. And we can see that this item right here, this conveyor oven, definitely we sell a, <clears throat> we sell a lot in terms of sales revenue. Uh, and there's some margins on it. Um, and then we can also, you know, sort by margins to see what we make the most on. And it looks like it's this table right here. But I want to look at quantity for a moment. So um, what we'll do is this is a what we call a generic inquiry. So I'm going to go in here and edit this. And I want to add quantity because it's not in here. So I'm going to, these are all the columns. I'm going to add a quantity field here. And one of the nice things in Acumatica is these generic inquiries. You can pull any data that you want and display it. So let me go back to the, in, the view inquiry screen that we were just in. I'll scroll to the right. Oh, I see it right here, quantity. So here's my total quantity, and I can see, I can look here and sort by descending. And, and the other thing I want to do is maybe turn this into a, a pivot table. So um, we'll save this as a pivot. And this way we can see the total quantity by item. So we'll say uh, quantity sold by item. Um, and we'll click OK here. And then what we'll do is we'll take for our rows, we'll take our inventory um, ID. And then for our columns, We'll take um, the uh, date range, maybe, for example. So we'll make our column the date. So when I say date range, this obviously, by default, would show every day where there was a, a, a change or activity. But we're going to round. <clears throat> we're going to round basically by uh, years here. And then our value is going to be um, the quantity, which we just brought in. So quantity okay so let's turn this gears off and now we can see so this shows us basically the total sales that we have during a period during a year period now what's really cool about this is the fact that you can drill down into these amounts so here we drill down we can see this quantity and all the transactions that are individual so now if we're looking around, for example, for maybe some item that didn't, isn't really selling, we can find it, drill down into that particular year, and we can see there's quantity two of each transaction. So one of the other things we could do is these columns. We can click on them and do different sorts. So here we're sorting the, the year 2018-2014. Do the same thing with the inventory ID. Ascending, descending. We can also click on the filters. And in this case, it's showing every single individual item we can uncheck. This is helpful if there's not that many items. But we can also go into conditions and use the contains or some of the other filters there. Now, if we go back into our configuration, we have the ability to stack additional rows and additional columns. So we can take our item class and put it under rows and then move it up to the top. And when we turn it off, notice we're now grouped by item class, item category. And we can see all the individual inventory IDs underneath it. and you could expand and collapse these categories. Okay, now from a year standpoint, we're showing years. So we could take the date, which is rounding by years, and 
We could change it to month. So now we're going month by month. So we can be a little bit more granular. If we go back in, we can also even stack the date. So we'll bring over another date. We'll change this one back to years and change this one over to months. And when we turn this off, now we have our years grouping with all the months underneath it. And if we collapse these, you can see how nice this report looks. So this gives you some really easy ways to carve out the data the way you want to see it. And remember, all of this data is sourced in a system that allows you to find any, uh, any data in the entire system. Because Acumatica's generic inquiries, if we go back, you can see that these fields and columns and data, it's all something we can build out of our generic inquiries, which gives us almost limitless possibilities. So thanks so much for watching. Please see the video at the end. You'll see a contact slide. Please reach out to us with any questions you might have. Thank you so much.